How to integrate Zapier with Messenger Bot using Webhook and Pushover. Hi, my name is Jamie and I would like to welcome you to Messenger Bot application tutorial video. You will learn how to integrate Zapier with Messenger Bot through its third party application Webhook. Also, you will learn how to use Webhook with Pushover. The Webhooks by Zapier trigger support sending more than a single trigger event per Webhook request. You can send an array of properly formed JSON objects and will trigger the Zapier once for each object in the array. It triggers the actions three times, once for every object in the array. Therefore, let's make our Zapier with Webhook for our Messenger bot. First, log into your Zapier account. If you don't have Zapier, make an account to use its features to integrate Webhook to Messenger bot. Click the Maker Zap. To make your first Zapier, provide a name to your Zap. In your Zap, click 1. When this happens and renames it whichever name you want. Choose App and Event. You can see below that lots of apps to choose from Zapier. Then, search for what app you like to use. Let's choose Webhooks, and select Webhooks by Zapier. Choose Webhooks by Zapier as a trigger app for Messenger Bot. Click the Choose Trigger Event drop-down menu and select your webhook type. For most webhooks, the catch hook trigger will be the best one to use. Catch hooks work by giving you a unique URL that you can then make requests to. If you want Zapier to make or get the request for an external URL to check the new entries, use a Retrieve Poll webhook trigger. But, now let's choose Catch Hook. Then, click Continue. Next, you'll be given the URL for your webhook and copy this then paste it into your Messenger bot application, JSON API Connector. Silent mode, some apps want to receive an empty body. If you don't want to receive content in the response from Zapier, select the silent mode checkbox. Pick off child key, this is the specific key you want Zapier to use from the request you make to the webhook URL. This is useful if you only care about getting a subset of the data that is sent to the webhook. Open the app you want to connect to Zapier and find its webhook settings page. You'll often find that in your app's core settings or options page. Or inside the options for a specific project or list. Check your app's help and support documentation if you can't locate it. In your dashboard select automations and click Zapier integration. The JSON API connector will appear immediately. Or in your dashboard select Messenger Bot and click All Bot Settings. Select JSON API connector and click Actions. Click New Connection to make your integration. Provide and enter your connector name. Select your Facebook page. Paste the copied URL here from Zapier. Check, what field change trigger webhook. Check, which data you want to send. Click, save. Back to dashboard select messenger bot and click all bot settings. Select bot settings and click actions. Select Facebook page and bot reply settings and click add bot reply. Provide your bot name and provide keywords separated by a comma. Drop down to select your reply type. You can also enable the typing on display and input your delay in reply per second. Select the reply type you wanted to perform. Like, text, image, audio, video, file, quick reply, text with buttons, generic template, carousel, and many more. Provide your reply message. Choose the button type. Name your button text and you can add more button or add more reply. Click Submit. Now, let's check if the webhook really triggers. Log into your Facebook page. And try to message your page news or email. Type news or email as that was the keyword written in the reply bot. Reply with your email address. 
Provide your email address. Then, click Submit. The email address was received. Now, check your Zapier if it really triggers. Webhooks integrations send data to your webhook URL whenever something new is added. So, before going back to Zapier, add something new to your app. Webhooks triggers support sending more than a single trigger event per webhook request. You can send an array of properly formed JSON objects, and Zapier will trigger the zap once for each object in the array. Back in Zapier, click Find Hook. If your hook is found, the step will show it was successful and you can see the data received. This is the data result. Zapier will split out each field from your webhook data so you can then select email addresses, names, project info, and much more in your Zapier action steps. Then, click Continue below your webhook URL. Choose App and Action Event. Drop down Action Event to choose the event. Click Continue. Choose an account to sign in to Pushover. Allow Zapier to access your Pushover account. Fill out User Key and Yes to continue. Click Continue. Customize push underscore notification and fill out the required field. Then, click Continue. Send test push underscore notification to push over and click Test and Review. The test was successfully created and turn on Zap. A green check indicates that trigger and action was successfully created. Overview of the demo created sent to push over. Now you're ready to make your own integration just follow the step-by-step -step process and integrate with your messenger bot.